Hi everyone, and welcome back to a new video. I know I'm a bit late, but happy new year. I'm really excited to start making a lot of new videos for you all. Today I'm doing a first impressions of the Yusuke Nakamura Turner Acrylic Gouache Set. This is a limited edition set in collaboration with the incredible artist and illustrator Yusuke Nakamura. He primarily uses acrylic gouache for illustrations, and this set in particular includes 12 of his top favorite colors. I believe the brand Turner has done a similar limited edition set in the past with different artists, but I wanted to focus on this set today. Acryl gouache, or acrylic gouache, is exactly as it sounds. Simply put, it is a mix between acrylic paints and gouache. It retains the flat, matte, opaque look of gouache, however once dry, it cannot be reactive like regular gouache. To be honest, I was a little nervous when trying out these paints. My primary medium of choice is oil paints. On the channel, I've used watercolor and gouache as well. I like being able to reactivate the paints, blend, and work on a piece for a long period of time. These paints I can't do that with. They dry pretty quickly and so once the paint is down, it's down. I decided to challenge myself though and in the end, I really enjoyed these paints. Right now, I'm doing a quick swatch sheet to test the vibrancy and opacity of the colors. I used the black that came in the set to create the stripe the paints would go on. I was really impressed with how opaque these paints really were, and I did all the swatches in one layer. Some of the colors were more transparent like the yellow, but that's generally what I've seen in many gouache paints. I also forgot to mention before, but this is not a full review of the set. This is just me testing out the paints for the first time and getting a feel on how they perform. I can definitely give you guys an update as time goes on and I start to use the paints in more pieces as well. I really enjoy the color palette of this set. Pastels aren't usually the colors I tend to use often, but I quite like the selection here. The pink, lavender, and mint shades are super opaque and beautiful. I like that they included a gold as well. It's pretty opaque and has a nice shine, though it is a little more yellow than I prefer. The remaining colors provide a great foundation for mixing. It comes with the three primaries, a couple secondary colors, a burnt sienna, and a white and black. You really don't need any other colors for a base set. thumbnails and sketches to get an idea of what I wanted to paint. As I said before, I don't use pastels in my work often, but I really wanted to push myself for this piece. I was inspired by how graphic and illustrative Yusuke Nakamura's work is, and wanted to mix those elements in with my more painterly style.
For the color scheme of this piece, I wanted the pastels to really stand out, so I made the skin tone more dull and desaturated. After I put in the hair in the background though, I thought the skin was a bit too purple and gray, so I decided to warm it up. I did a lot of different layers on the skin. I tried working with more textured and defined strokes since I knew I wouldn't have a lot of time to blend. Personally, I like when you can see the different strokes in a painting compared to something completely smooth and airbrushed, but this is a bit more textured than I'm used to. I still quite like the results in the end. Overall, I really enjoyed working with these paints. It was quite a challenge for me. I couldn't mix and blend the paints on the paper as much as I am used to, and my paint would quickly dry on the palette. Since I use oil so frequently, I'm used to my paints staying wet and workable for a long time. It was good practice though, because I would have to mix the same color over and over again. Even though it's not my normal style, I do like the painterly strokes on the skin, contrasted with the graphic nature of the hair in the background. It was a fun piece to work on, and I hope you enjoyed watching the process as well. Thanks everybody for tuning in. I really enjoy talking and interacting with you guys. I hope you have a good day, wherever you may be, and I'll see you next time.